Yeah, hi everybody, Dr. Jason W. Morrison, Theologist, fresh in from building a house. A bit tired, but this is my favourite part of the day, the viewer's voice. Review of the viewer's comments. Nelly Lugo, nice view, enjoy your time as a construction worker, but get back to the office, lots of laughs. Well, I'm managing to do not most, uh, both at the moment, Nelly. Thank you for your comment, Marsha Hooley. How do we know it's not an elder following orders from headquarters? I'm glad no one was hurt, but I, for one, would not help this evil cult. Not saying this is the way to do it, but someone once said, if you kick a dog enough, sooner or later it's going to bite you. And it sure is now. I tell you what, the Jehovah Witnesses have got their hands full now, and the Watchtower Society is in a real rut, isn't it? Thanks, Marsha. I appreciate your comment. Jen Burlock. Good day, Jen. How are you? Awesome compilation, and boy, how manipulative they are. Reminds me of something from Kim and Mikey's channel about the tower being the mother. I'm going to share this with the world. Thanks, Doc. You are the greatest in doing this. It's a pleasure. Oh, and that father of the young baby went on to be a minister, and the baby lived, thanks to the courts stepping in. Hear, hear, and amen to that. Anglo-Scottish Asutra Pagan. Asutra Pagan. The Watchtower of Jehovah Witnesses is a cult, given the fact that the Shepherd of the Flock of God handbook protected the pedophiles, making the JW Org a sex slave cult. Wow! That is all it is is a scary truth i've been heavily researching this org since 2013 thank you for the posting hales pro one theologist now thank you also anglo scottish as true as a true i think it's as a true pagan jen burlock this is scary stuff but i can't believe what they claimed but these two are a godsend for the ones coming out or wishing they were out in fact, I have learned more from them and you than my 20 years in the truth. Yeah, their debts were forgiven, but they pay rent to the cult to use their building until they sell it. Wow. Anglo-Scottish Astra True Pagan. I love your viewers' posts, voice posts. Hails to you, Pro One Theologist. And I love it too. I look forward to getting out and spreading the word of all your thoughts, everyone. It really makes it worth it. Benora Moon, JW, hashtag new, the runaway slave, took the time to write a CBC who printed this story as follows. Now, hang on a sec. Just let me set myself up. All right. <clears throat> just, you just had the following story. Protesters at Jehovah's Witness Convention in Vancouver demand action against alleged abuse, whereby a Jehovah's Witness representative, Chas Harrison, outright lied yes yes now i noticed that and then i watched the runaway slaves video and i've got i've got to ask him if i can share it and he was very obliging he is unaware of the two witness rule he is an elder and must know of the two witness rule here here venora as a news agency have you not reviewed the royal commission of, of a, uh, australia court case where one of the governing body confirmed the two witness rule and blatantly said they would not change the rule because god said so that was jeffrey jackson wasn't it there are many lawsuits around the world ghoul is loaded with jehovah witnesses sex abuse allegations cases etc jehovah witnesses will only go further for um, with a child abuse charge if there are two witnesses they will not divulge the offense to their congregants as they look at this as confidential they are mad child molestation confidential my goodness me Gee, that makes me angry. Oh, gosh. Surely there's got to be a way to abolish this two-witness rule with urgency. Oh, goodness gracious. How evil. This was an awful lie. Children have been abused, and right now, more are having their innocence breached. Literally, physically. Terrible. Their spirit broke and afraid to tell anyone. Jehovah's Witnesses will lie and hide their offences 
and help the perpetrator to hide within their organization. Can you turn your head from this any longer? No, I can't. Can you help get this out into the public? Yes, I can. So they demand a bright light on the, these crimes and this crime. Please, can you help? I'm trying, I'm trying all I can, Venora. I am really trying. And anybody else who wants to try, just email, do whatever you want. I'll do whatever I can to help as far as I can. Anglo-Scottish, as a true pagan, I too am subscribe to Dallas Canada's channel. Thank you for your latest post. Hails. Thank you. Green Goddess. <clears throat> now, this has got a bit in it, this. Live for viewers. Doc, you are just so too cute. You think you have troubles with the JWs and cannot figure out how they can be so stubborn. Oh, gee, it makes me angry, Venora. Oh, they make me angry. They stand there in their deception down here at the waterfront and they couldn't care less about anyone except themselves and, and their, their, their cart. I feel like running up to the cart and riding it like a scooter. Can you see me going along the shoreline riding it like a scooter? Ching, ching. And all the magazines. Oh, they're, they're... I don't know how the authorities let them stand there. You know the answer? brainwash now i see this a lot but gee they must be good at brainwashing people benora oh gosh you cannot comprehend this no i can't i really can't because you've never been brainwashed and us that are that are finally free and back away from and out of this organization know we were the same at one time mm. Mm. however now looking back we cannot believe we were once just like them. Scary. Gee, that's scary, isn't it? And then I said to Venora, it's, it's scary and infuriating. And she said, yes, it is infuriating. And especially when your family is all indoctrinated and it's impossible to reason with them. Oh, gee, that makes me angry. Um, you just cannot reach them. It's like they've been body snatched. I personally have had my share of screaming matches with them. Oh, goodness. When all was said and done, talking to such hardened persons, is it is literally telling a brick wall to move and really thinking you could tell it to move and it would. That's a good, good way of putting it. It's literally like telling a brick wall to move and really thinking you could tell it to move and it would. That's how stubborn they are. They just won't move. The more you reason, it stays in the mud. It was set in. Frustrating. A lot of the J-dubs left in the religion were born within the religion and only know one way. That all those outside of the organization are bad and it is dangerous to point of your life to associate with them in any way. They have been programmed to do all things under Jehovah and that means everything, everything. You go numerous meetings a week teaching the same, yep. And in their literature, they show you what happens to those that go outside the organization and what will happen to them at Armageddon. They mustn't know about Armageddon, the proper thing about Armageddon, Venora. When you are not at meetings, you are required to study their literature for personal study. You are constantly instructed that you have to preach the truth. Isn't it a shame they don't know the truth? So people can be saved and not die at Armageddon? Oh, gosh. Going through the same horrors as shown in their publications. Oh, can somebody shout out? Stop it, these people. Stop it. Oh, I'm so angry at the moment with this organization. That is why I say brainwashing. Oh, gosh, that's powerful. Brainwashing. Since most of the JWs today were born in the organization, this is all they know and believe to be true. Goodness. They are constantly told they are under Jehovah's protection if they follow these rules. Can you understand why they are so hard to reach? I can to a point. I can. In fact, I think the Jehovah Witnesses are harder to reach than people that know nothing about religion at all. I personally think it is a personal fatigue that m makes a crack. 
opening up the possible leaving of the JWs. Now, I want to read that again. Now, Venora said this, and it could help all of us. I personally think it is a personal fatigue that makes a crack, opening up for the possible leaving of the JWs. The enough is enough factor, and then you begin to review your life and come out from the bubble you've been in. Now, what a very powerful statement. I want to read that again. I personally think it is a personal fatigue that makes a crack, opening up for the possible leaving of the JWs. The enough is enough factor, and then you begin to review your life and come out from the bubble you've been in. And many of you that are um, talking with me on this channel, oh, gosh, it, oh, it's so dark. Anglo-Scottish, as a true pagan. Family members shunning their own family members is not loving. It destroys young minds. I was thinking about this today at work, you know. I was a young larrikin. I really was. Oh, we... we come home on the motorbikes and chew up the front lawn and we tell mum to go and get nicked and she'd chase us with the paper and dad had, the stepdad had come out. They'd be after and you'd take off up the street and then you'd come back and... Oh, we were terrible kids, really, when I look back. We... Oh, goodness gracious. But they never, they never shunned us. Tea was always on the table. Now, what I'm saying is... Religion's got no joy, has it? This religion's got no joy. I can remember coming down the down the street on my push bike and doing a big skid along the new lawn. It was wrong. Of course it was wrong. It was all wrong. But they never shunned us. I can remember coming home late, getting, you know, smacked on the bum and that, but they never hate, they never shunned us, ever. Oh, we used to jump out the windows of a night and take off and ride our billy carts and stuff down the hills and people would be chasing us and we'd get home and the oh the mother would be furious and the stepfather would be oh but they never shunned us why what was the difference between that and this filthy stinking horrible religion you know what happened in the end in the end i got to the stage where i've gone it's no good being naughty and silly you get tired of it after a while but they didn't need to shun me to teach me that. I learnt that, as Venora said, through um, something similar. She said, through my own pain and loss, by being a larrikin. Oh, my parents loved me, even though I was the devil incarnate as a child. I can remember coming home and we were having rock fights up the end of the street. There was this kid called Brett Vile. His name was Brett Vile. V-I-L-E. Big tough kid. He used to come up and pick on us and bash us up. And we were having this rock fight. Big rocks, like big ones. Well, we're hiding in the bush and Brett Vile, he was a baseball player. And he was throwing these rocks and they come and one hit me in the face. Right there. Now, <clears throat> my stepfather had a glass eye. And I've all of a sudden I've just gone, I'm going to have a glass eye. There's blood everywhere. I thought I'd lost my eye. <sighs> Terrible injury. Anyway, I've gone home. Ah, what have you done? Uh, Brett Vile, Brett Vile threw a rock in it. Well, mum's grabbed me by the ear hole and she's dragged me up to Brett Vile's place. And I'm going, no, no. And she got Brett Vile <laughs> in trouble. Well, we got through. I could have lost my eye. I could have could have been a lot worse than what it was. I'll never forget that. And, you know, I look at it now and it makes me think to those people that are in war when you must get shot just from out of the blue, just shot and maimed. But you know what my point is? My mother and stepfather never shunned me. I look back and that was transforming for me. You know, on the job today, <clears throat> this might just sound coincidental, but it's true. I have shared the testimony about when I first left school, there was a meatworks up the road and I got a job um, cutting open the cow's stomach. So I used to go to work and cry and think, how have I ended up in this place? Okay, I know I was in the classes. I wasn't good at school. I was in the classes with the kids with the Band-Aid on their eye and they'd have limps and, you know, they were 
they didn't get a fair go when when they come into the world. Um, but because I grew up in a dysfunctional family, I'd end up down with the kids in the wheelchairs and the you know the ones that couldn't talk or they you know they look like this and all that stuff, all that sad stuff. So I ended up getting a job at the meatworks, and now I'm cutting open the cow's stomachs. It was horrible. I can't describe to you how horrible that job was. It was just horrible. But can I say, on the bright side, I'll tell you what I learnt. I learnt real quick that you can't waste your money. I bought my first house when I was 18 years old. Anyway. So we're on the job site today, and my foreman from those days turned up because the meatworks got closed many years ago and he's turned up steve funnel his name was good man and i said to him today i said steve you know back then you had a major major influence over my life for the change of good i'll never forget the day he let me go up into the slaughter floor and, and i knew that i wouldn't have to go back to that it was called the tripe room. They make tripe out of the linings of cow stomachs. So I just thought I'd share that with you, but I never got shunned by my family, and we were terrors. These people, these Jehovah Witnesses, they they've got no they've got no guts, have they? They've got no where's their insides? There's nothing funnier than a little larrikin running up to his mum and kicking her in the shins. I know it sounds nasty, doesn't it, and cruel. And off he goes, and she grabs him by the back of the head or something. You know what I'm talking about, all that stuff that makes kids brats. But you don't shun them, do you? You don't just throw them away like they're worthless. I think what I'm trying to say is there's a very serious religious form of evil. And this, the more that you get to know me, the more you'll hear me say... Anything we think we need to do, Romans chapter 7, anything we think we need to do or not do to make God happy or stop him from being sad, which is the majority of religious motivation, will turn us evil. Now, I don't want to go to Romans 7 right now, but please, you know, our sinful nature is aroused by the things we think we need to do or not do to make God happy or stop him from being sad. And that's why good intending religious people turn evil. Do you know that's worth millions and millions of do dollars, that information? What I'm giving you, that information there, that good intending religious people can turn evil by their mindset and, and motives, that could save so much trouble if people knew that it, when Jesus died on the cross, everything was fixed. You don't have to have religious do's and don'ts and all this stuff. Now, I'm not talking about serving in the church or commitments and stuff. I'm talking about what you think you need to do or not do to make God happy or stop him from being sad. Romans chapter 7 tells us that it's evil. Now, um, let's go back to the viewers. I never got shunned, folks. I was a terror. I bought me first Harley Davidson when I was 18, tearing up the road paddling out into the surf and you'd have people worrying about you and stuff. I don't know. What's wrong with these Jehovah Witnesses? Where's their life? Where's their life? I'll show you a picture, if I can find it, of um, a Harley Davidson I built. My father, stepfather died when I was 21. He smoked and drank himself to death. That's why I never liked drinking or smoking. He smoked and drank himself to death at the age of 51. And um, I built this Harley Davidson. And there's a picture of me and mum standing by this bike. I'll see if I can find it. It's quite interesting. It just shows you how people conform in life. So let's get back to our viewer's voice. Um, Beth Richardson. They only want to talk, not listen. Gee, I've noticed that, you know. I just want to... I should finish this. Sorry, sorry, um, Beth. Excuse me. Family members shunning... This is Anglo-Scottish. As, as a true pagan. Family members shunning their own family members is not loving. 
It destroys young minds. It's a virus that must be cut out. The poison is toxic to which it must be cured. Thank the Australian Royal Commission and thanks to the lawsuits against the Watchtower and JW around the world. Moreover, thank you for being here. Hales, Pro One Theologist, and thank you for being here. Um, sorry, what have I done there? Thank you for being here. Anglo-Scottish, as a true pagan. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate everybody. I do. I just get so angry. I'm so... Gee, I don't like... Oh, oh, do you know what? I want to get in there and just show where they're wrong. It's the wrong in the Bible. They've just got it so wrong. Oh, gosh. Jenny B 52 How are you, Jen? I hope you're going good. Jen says, <clears throat> They follow whatever was taught to them. And yes, their ears are stopped up. Their eyes blinded from the master deceiver himself, Satan. Gee, that's sad, isn't it? And you can see it. Some will see the true light one day while others are stubborn in their ways. That sounds like Isaiah, Jen. Good on you. Nice work you are doing too. Train them right and pay it forward. Thanks, Jen. I hope you're doing well. Nelly Lugo. Nelly Lugo. He is upset, but he is right. We all have our days. Plus, whatever he said about the JWS is damn right. Good on you, Nelly. He's damn right, all right. Chris Pandoff, God bless Patriarch Kirill. Now, who's Patriarch Kirill? <laughs> I'll give him a thumbs up. Good on you, Chris. Alpha Omega, hashtag 4747. Very good friend. He's a good, isn't he? He's been in the thick of it, old um, runaway slave. My gosh. XJW Born In, we just want to say thank you, XJW Born In, for your video, allowing me to share it. I do appreciate it, and I love your stuff. Um, hello, Doctor, can you post this link so folks can go watch the full videos if they want? It will loop them to the list I made in the description space. I think you can pin it by pressing the dots on the far right of this comment, and it will... Um, put it on the top of the comment list automatically, I think. Well, I'm going to try that. Hang on. How can I do that? Um, what did he say? Pin it by pressing the dots on the far right of this comment. Where are they? I might not have the te technology X double, but let's see what this is. Let's just have a look. Do copy this link, guys, um, please. Oh, Jehovah Witnesses are not such nice people. There you go. Okay. So please copy X. JW born in and I just want to say again XJW born in thank you so much for giving me the privilege to share your experiences and your presentation because it means so much those these are the things that are going to help people come out there's that link everyone there's that link um, if you want to make it a bit easier for yourself let me just pin on it again I'll just pause that um, it's called Jehovah Witnesses are not such star, nice people, star. XJW born in and do subscribe to his channel if you haven't already. Um, he's, he's been into the Jehovah Witnesses very deeply, very, very deeply. Okay, let's go back to our comments. Thanks, XJW born in. I really appreciate it. Jenny B 52 good on you, Jen. You break man's laws, you do the time. When my grandmother was 12, it was against the law to preach. But as the J-dubs, they felt it was more important um, to follow God's law. So she was arrested and thrown in jail. Goodness me. Once she was tarred and feathered too. All to make God happy. Now, that is, I think, Jen, I think Jen's echoing my sentiments. There is nothing you can do. 
to make God happy or stop him from being sad except to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Anything you do after that's voluntary. It's a voluntary choice of how you want to use your time. That's all it is. Sad, poor, deluded family. And it's a vicious cycle in believing lie upon lie. You know, these, do, these just aren't words, people. This is real life heart and mind stuff. This is real life experience. These, this is why I read the viewers' comments, because it's real life stuff. It's real experience. It's, it's, it's stuff that these people have learnt through terrible deception and pain. It's knowledge that you can't put a price on. It's so valuable. Thank you, Jenny B. 52. XJW born in the Watchtower is boss bossing on their website and Google searches about their new headquarters at Warwick and how they have free labour for its construction. Gosh. Of course, they say how dedicated their members are to help Jehovah's Witnesses. To try and answer your question, it's done by repetition. My question was, how do they, how are they so blind? It's done by repetition, 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 and more repetition. Worded the same way and talked to like a child. That's what I said when I first started. These people seem like ignorant little children, don't they? Even though they're probably, you know, they're probably well-meaning, good-intending people, but they're like, they're just, they're like Paul said. Now, hang on a sec. Let's go to Hebrews together. Come on, we'll just duck over to Hebrews. I don't want to do a teaching on this because it would take too long. Um, it's about the order of Melchizedek. But at the end of it, it says this. For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the first principles of the oracles of God or the first principles of the finished work of Christ. Okay? The oracles of God are the first principles of the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you have come to need milk and not solid food. In other words, they're still wavering and staggering. They're adding things. They're taking away things to the finished work of Christ. They actually think there's still something they need to do or not do to make God happy or stop him from being sad. For everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness. Now, what's the word of righteousness? The finished work of our Lord Jesus Christ. 2 Corinthians 5.21 I keep saying it and I will keep saying it. He made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. God made Jesus who knew no sin to be sin for me, so that I would become or have become the righteousness of God in him. Um, there's even some, I believe, some serious translation issues in that verse because I think it's a present, present future tense application of what Christ has done for us. In other words, he made him in unison sin to be sin for us, that's a definite, so that we have become the righteousness of God in him, a past tense application of a present future tense position. But let's not go there, for he is obeyed. But solid food belongs to those who are of full age, that is, those who by reason of use have their senses exercised. Now, now, this is what I'm learning from my wonderful ex-Jehovah Witness subscribers and listeners, and this is why I bring up the viewer's voice. They're teaching me that these people, these Jehovah Witness people, are suffering from the fact that they ha are not being taught to reasonably use their senses to be able to discern good from evil. They've got no clue. They're completely blind. So that's Hebrews chapter 5 and verse 14 for, for you guys there. But see see how together we're, we're learning we're learning things. The Jehovah Witnesses, as the scripture said, are not being able to have the reason of use to be able to exercise their senses enough to be able to discern good and evil. It's so sad. Oh gosh, it's infuriating. Let's go back. <clears throat> Big session today, guys. Thanks, Jenny B. Fifty-two. Now um, we're up. We're still in the X um, JW born in. 
Now, worded the same way and talked to like a child. Now, we just read that in Hebrews 5.14. If you go to Denise Hedberg 66 channel, okay, everybody? Denise Hedberg 66 channel. She actually counts the numbers of times certain words are said written in the Watchtower article. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's the little old lady that sits in the dark. It's absurd. Like 90 times Jehovah's, 49 times governing bodies, 50 loyalty to the organization, etc. And last and not least, one or two on a good day, Jesus. <laughs> I've what, should we go and have a look at Jenny? Let's just, for those that don't know, we'll go and have a look at um, Denise uh, Hedberg 66. Denise Hedberg 66. Let's just see. There's, there's Denise. There's Denise there. Denise Hedberg 66. I tell you, she's got some terrific videos. So this is the day that my letters go out. I put um, little um, American flags on the stamps so they know where it's from. This one right here is my letter to... Vladimir Putin. It's a little bit longer and I didn't put all the American stamps on this one because I thought maybe he might be, you know. No, oh, that was clever. It's, you know, unnational. But anyway, <laughs> I put some different stamps on his. The rest of them all have um, American flags. But um, I wrote everybody that was on the list except the person who's in charge of foreign affairs because it's really not a foreign affair it's something that they're doing inside Russia so I didn't write that guy so there's Denise Hedberg 66 everyone thanks XJW born in um, no joke we had to listen to this over and over and over ad nauseum your mind numbs your spirit starts to sleep you become a watchtower robot etc etc it takes the holy spirit to wake your butt up usually after a significant emotional event <laughs> oh goodness gracious that's right through pain and loss like the jehovah witness watchtower turning on you or a christian telling you about the way they came to have a personal relationship with the lord jesus christ by the way you guys look like you know what you're doing construction wise I'm sure the Watchtower would love to have you over to help build their new Warwick headquarters. The Watchtower can go and get lost. Just don't expect any money or refreshments. Ah, oh, your character. Thanks, XJW Born In. Tori. I remember Tori. She's, I think she's commented before a while back. Tori says, those eight rogues at the top use mind control manipulation and fear tactics to woo vulnerable people into this cult once they get them into their clutches they keep them busy with meetings and preaching so they don't have time to think just underlining their answers from their magazines and agreeing to everything that's taught to them that's the reason why they are taught not to associate with non-believers on a social level and to keep away from xjw's because they're afraid they will contaminate their minds well, isn't it funny? They're not going to contaminate their minds. They're going to relieve their minds from the contamination. They're going to clear their minds from the contamination. The members can't see that they are used to promoters of the Watchtower, used as promoters of the Watchtower, canvassing door to door to win people into the religion so that the nations will keep flowing. It's all about the money. Evil men. Thanks, Tori. Green Goddess says, Taught to feel above every Christian, human, governmental agency, the law, the entire world. Taught that they are of the devil and will do anything to get you out of that cult. Oh, and don't forget, are you aware? If the demonic and sexually explicit subliminal images, they flood in the literature. Yes, I've seen um, Kim and Mikey talk about this and others. It's purely satanic through and through, I do believe. Have you watched any videos of the subliminal images? Yes, I have. Um, on Kim and Mike's channel, mainly. Night, that's wow worthy. 
Um, frightening as hell, literally. Thanks, Green Goddess. Matilda, at 310, everything is the opposite of what they say true. I've come to the realisation too. Good on you, Matilda. This is Dr. Jason W. Morrison giving the viewers and subscribers a voice. Thank you so much for everything you say. You're really an inspiration to me. Bye for now. Yeah, Dr. Jason Morrison, Theologist again. I just want to say thank you for watching the videos and I uh, hope you got plenty of uh, self-rediscovery and freedom out of it. If you watched it on YouTube, please share or like. Um, maybe even comment. If you watch it on Facebook, like, comment, share. Um, but most of all, get out and live. This isn't a rehearsal. You've got a one-off life. Don't let your loyalty and your faithfulness blind you to the life that you should be experiencing. Till the next video, thank you for watching and bye for now.